In week three of the SIAP course, we conclude our second week of planning. We specifically want to focus on planning materials and take the, the understandings that we developed last week and look at it more from uh, materials or in a performance standpoint. So last week we looked at understandings and developing our own understandings given a particular unit of a course that we might uh, be teaching in English. Then we looked at building essential questions that were directly related to creating those understandings. And then we looked at the differences between setting up content objectives versus language objectives. We looked at content objectives in terms of uh, declarative knowledge, those specific key concepts that we want our students to understand. So we might be looking at specific facts, dates, concepts, theories, formulas, and looking at the very specifics of, of uh, the knowledge that we want our students to, to come away with. And then we looked at language objectives in terms of deep structure versus surface structure. And we looked at deep structure uh, language objectives in terms of how students, for example, might create an argument, how they might compare and contrast uh, certain key concepts, and how they might resolve a problem or or even set a problem, problem setting as being a good uh, academic exercise in and of itself. So we looked at deep structure and the relationship between deep structure and surface structure where we look at the specifics of uh, language. In our case, we might look at listening, speaking, reading, and writing. We might look at grammar and specifically vocabulary and really looking at how we can assist and help the learner build those uh, the, the language skills necessary in, in order to uh, achieve this more deep structure, this higher order of thinking skills that we would expect uh, from our students. So this week, the idea is to take that information that we built on last week and look at different supplementary materials that we might be uh, asked to use within a, a given unit. So we, we talked about related literature, multimedia pictures, hands-on manipulatives, realia, visuals, demonstrations, and adaptive text. And based on those particular supplementary materials that might be relevant to our unit, we looked at different ways that we could then adapt the content. And we looked at different uh, examples, specifically looking at scaffolding as a teaching technique, creating information that the students already know and trying to link that with uh, some new information. We also looked at marginal notes. We uh, did a jigsaw text reading. We looked at recorded text, graphic organizers, outlines, highlighted text, adapted text, literature circles, and native language text. So these are a few examples that we might use uh, in our our classes, again, based on the type of supplementary material or materials that we're going to use, find the most effective ways that we can adapt that content so that the content is uh, uh, a little bit easier to be understood by our students. The last thing we focused on was creating a performance task, looking at the GRASP framework specifically and, and how we go about designing our performance task. The GRASP framework being first we set a goal, our students assume a role and an audience. We provide a certain context or situation with which they are to then perform the given task. We need to look in terms of the product, the process, and the purpose of the task so that the students uh, either are making decisions on the product or process or that they are receiving assistance from the teacher in terms of what product or, and or process they might follow. And finally, the standards or the criteria needs to be very clear so that they know what the expectations are going into the performance test from the very beginning. Generally, the standards might be some sort of uh, information or criteria that is external to the, uh, the classroom environment or the, the curriculum. The criteria might be something more set internally that uh, could be either driven by the teacher so you might create the criteria internally yourself, or it could also be a negotiation between the learners and you from the very beginning. But generally, the criteria is within the classroom 
standards typically come uh, external to the uh, to the classroom. So this was our focus, uh, planning materials, and uh, next week we will transition and we'll begin looking at some of uh, the specific ways we can adapt content and building background knowledge, connecting those experiences of our students and uh, linking that to the content.